Welcome back to some professional StarCraft to a highlight Terran versus Protoss from the ESL Pro Tour. Your weekly ESL Cups, where players who are decidedly not from North America fight to figure out who will claim the spoils. Let me introduce the Danish Protoss here and ready to show Beyond. Now, you can't just say the name of the other player. Who writes these script? <clears throat> they can't read. Hey, Max Pay. Max Pay. You've ruined it, all right? No, edit it out. Uh, it's Max Pay. And in that top right, the world champion. One of the most exciting... Terran players to watch, win or lose. It's gonna be dramatic. It's beyond. Double gas. But I think this is the defensive factory opener and not some sort of one base all in. I remember back in, uh, probably before Max Pax was born, so Heart of the Swarm. Um,. Back in Heart of the Swarm, there was a one base tank, like, uh, just tank marine timing that would take, I don't even remember the name of it. We had a name for it, but it was, it was a one base tank marine timing that you started, like, a third of the map away, like over here. But the Protoss had so few options to actually directly deal with it, you just tank pushed over the course of, like, five minutes. And this was a real, like, Heart of the Swarm strand. Um, this was the way of avoiding the rest of the Terran versus Protoss. I mean, eventually we learned to pull the boys, uh, and punish Protoss before Storm comes out. Legacy of the Void is significantly more dynamic in, in both economies and tech. Partially because doing, doing one base all ins. For those who don't know, I mean, Legacy of the Void's been out for seven years. But only half the mineral patches have the same amount that they did back in the day back in wings of liberty if you're wondering why the game is a little slower uh back in the day it's because half those mineral patches in legacy of the void actually have 800 minerals instead of 1500 so you essentially have two less mineral patches give or take on each base and then of course on top of uh oh my god God damn it, Beyond. Stop interrupting my point. I was doing the basic intro filler, and then he has to go... Bounce his Reaper into the main, noticing that, that it was set up. I, I still can't. I've never pulled that off. I've only done it accidentally. I guess it's exactly the positioning of the gate and the top. It never works for me. You know what else never works for me, though? Going Phoenix in Protoss versus Terran. Um, Max Pax has opened up with a Phoenix build. He scouted, and he saw the double gas from Beyond. So, they're essentially the greed here. Teleport successful. He now will see the command center land. He has a, a battery in the front, probably expecting some sort of straight-up aggression. So we're already off to a weird start with... Neither player really knowing exactly what to make of their opponent's build. Because Beyond, despite his heavy tech and all his units, didn't do any sort of aggressive play here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh. Get that lock on out of my face. Says Max Pax, coming in with the, uh... A little bit slow, but still quick enough to keep both phoenixes alive. Well. So now we have four phoenixes. The army is four phoenixes and two adepts. Building an immortal. The immortal is going to be an important part. As here come two cyclones and whatever marines Beyond was able to put together. So this fight... 
I have no idea. It really comes down. I think Max Pax is in a good spot to deal with this, but the Marines are actually there's enough of them to just gun down Phoenixes if they choose to lift and and remain there. So it, it's very unclear who's favored in this scenario. Of course, if Max Pax is halfway across the map, the Marines kind of give away their position there. Yeah, the Phoenix is being ha more than halfway across the map. Makes things a bit awkward. The double lock onto the Immortal, but the shield battery overcharge just gonna tank it. The Phoenix is making their way back. How many? He's got six of them now. Is this what we're doing? Is this what happens in this matchup? I don't... I'm... It, I just... You know what? Just watch the game. Stop trying to speculate. Alright, just, just enjoy. Because Beyond just keeps sending units across the map. Um. Hmm. But it they they really doesn't have that many units. So I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> There's no shield battery here, which is a big deal. Uses one of the lock guns though, and not on the immortal. Combat shield done. Stim done. So very dangerous position. Colossus about to finish. Guns down. Oh, you gotta be very careful with that Colossus. That Colossus is so important in this fight. Can he fight it? All right, the shield battery overcharged. One Colossus picks up the tank, but the Marines are zoned out at Max Pax holds for now. And the Marines on their own can't deal with this. Beyond keeps rallying units across. Where are your medevacs? He's building a reactor right now on his starport. But otherwise... I I guess we are doing that long-winded tank push. That is not enough Marines. He can actually just lift them up and knock them down. And the tank, too. Why not? Be unstims the rest of the Marines, but... Max Pax gets everything he wanted. <sighs> All right. Um... Yeah, I guess the Phoenixes pay off. Neither player really able to keep track of exactly what they're dealing with. But the Colossus... The thing is, if the Colossus had not popped out mid-fight... I think Beyond could have just backed off and not ended up losing half his unit. It was the timing of the Colossus popping out as the fight was happening that, that allowed Max Pax to turn it turn the tides there. If only you could garrison your Colossi inside the robotics facility. Bion does have a third CC. Max Pax had 65 probes and three bases, but one thing he doesn't have. A forge. Not upgrades. A forge. He doesn't even have a forge. So, without it, he's completely reliant on the strength of his army composition. As long as he doesn't make any mistakes or take any bad fights, that's fine. But if Beyond is able to get it down to just, like, gateway units versus bio, Max Pax is in for a bad time. Now, make no mistake, having this many phoenixes and... Oh, the EMP! He ate an EMP on his orbital, but the EMP actually... Wow. Gets... Pretty much all the phoenixes. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how you defend phoenixes. <laughs> Just don't miss. Yeah, shut down that arrest immediately. Is storm done? No, he's not even getting storm. He's getting nine minutes in. Max Pex, haven't you watched my guides? I was making guides before you were born. Almost true. Uh, two forges, but Beyond... Well, Beyond's armory is not particularly quick either, so... The only upgrades are extended th uh, thermal lance, I struggled, and warp gate. He's got charge on the way. Ruptor is being added in just to make things more complicated. Beyond has kind of just... Well, he can't... If he loses another fight, he loses the game. He can't, he can't risk it. At this point, he's saying, I'm going to max out. 
I've noticed your upgrades are quite late. And if I build the right army and I control it the right way. Now it is beyond, so maybe he'll just pick up and go to the main. Who knows, right? But otherwise, it, it seems like he's settled on letting Max Pax fight into him. Yeah, the turrets, the zone out the prisms. Ruptors on the way. The standoff continues. Max Pax is maxed. Something Pax. So, now's the time. Like, it, your army's not going to get any better. It can't. Beyond is not maxed because of obvious reasons. This is your best opportunity. War Prism goes down to the double turret. Handful of reinforcements will deal with this. The scan. I mean, the sensor tower spotted it. Beautiful EMPs. Hits most of the army and the phoenixes. So, the disruptor and afterthought. Wow, the sensor tower lived. I'm not even sure how. Thought like the entire army was focusing on it, but apparently not. Beyond is drawing closer to equal supply here. Especially army supply. Which, I mean, another disruptor. Air ball. Max Pack struggling to figure out how to actually fight this. He may settle on just denying a fourth base, but he's already failed. Did he see that this was going to be a fourth command center? How many Ruptors? He's got seven. There are no Liberators on the field, though a, a Fusion Core, though probably for advanced, oh, it's simmered down, advanced ballistics, very likely. EMP, it's, uh, the Phoenixes are, are mostly for, for boxing out the Vikings at this stage. Max Max needs to fight this base. He, he's gotta find a way, because Beyond's Max now. He's got two, two done. Now beyond, like, actually, let's fight. Let's go. Before before you learn how to counter one ghost. <laughs> let's get going on this. Unfortunately, well, the sensor tower should get... Are we, where are you going? Beyond, come back here. Come back here. Uh-oh. Well, um, we're base trading. So the recall timing is everything. Beyond just wants to fight the Rio. He cancels some of the warp and will shave off the rest. The Phoenix is a little too quick for their own good. Scrambling back, Max Pax, Pony trotting forward with the Colossi and the Stalkers. But Beyond, with a significant bio army, can shave off everything that doesn't involve splash damage. Just running around, EMP hits. The Phoenix is gunned down, all dead now. Zealots doing their best. The upgrade advantage for Beyond is significant. Max Pax ends up losing 20 probes and a whole lot of supply. Beyond giving him the run around there. I guess it worked. I mean, Max Pax has more next side to fall back on. Beyond had a fourth command center. He ended up losing that right side base. But instead of a base trade, we'll trade bases. Somehow a difference, but where both players will lose a base. But now he's got max packs on the run. And this is exactly what Beyond specializes in. Just keeping you so busy you don't realize you're losing. And that Blink DT making a cameo appearance. More DTs. Blinks onto the... Yeah, well. EMP doesn't even need a scan. Wow, that's a lot of money just gone. And suddenly Beyond is ahead on supply. He's got a fourth. There's no reason he can't just go forward. Or at least repeat the previous experience. Advanced ballistics is about to be done in four liberators at a time. Once those Liberators are out, it gets a lot more difficult for the Disruptors to do anything. But one shot finds the mark, but two Disruptors taken down. Another couple somehow miss. Zealots able to shave off the Siege Tanks. And Peon, a bit of an awkward fight, but the Liberators are on the field. And really, the how many Stalkers? There's three Stalkers. 
There's more Liberators than there are Stalkers right now. Which is not, not great when it comes to anti-air. Oh, the Liberator sieging up. V oh, Venn Diagram of Freedom. Thing is, the base, uh, unfortunately, was in the vulnerable area. Now the Liberator looking for the sweet spot here. Is there even a... Oh yeah, there's definitely a Stargate. Remember the Phoenixes? Oh no! Well, Max Max can't mine from this base. He need He's rebuilding Phoenixes, but what he really needs is to not shoot himself in the face with Disruptors. But also Tempest. Or Carriers, but this is more of a Tempest scenario, I think. That's still a very dangerous army out of Max Max. If the Liberators aren't here, the Disruptor is looking for the mark. Get a tank! Maybe able to kill the command center, but there's almost no anti-air. The Archons with no shields left. A scan looking for observers. The unpicks up. And he heads over to the right side. I'm not sure the observer spotted it. There was a sieged up observer slightly out of the scan. Where are you going, Archons? Oh, there's not enough. Yeah, those Archons are badly bruised. He's trying to just outmaneuver. But that drops. Okay, here we go again. Another disruptor shot hits more zealots than bio units. Beyond forces Max Pax into an awkward engagement. The Liberator zoning him out. Another base will die. A Phoenix finally took this down, trying to DT Blink onto the planetary. I think there is enough DPS to take it down. He gets it. Another base down. Beyond kills a Nexus. The Liberator downs. 13 SCVs came with it here. Trying to intercept the army. But who's flanking who? One Disruptor. Two Disruptor. Three Disruptor. Four Disruptor. All Disruptors. The Colada. Wait. Who's... I... That one Ruptor lives. Go tell your friends what happened here. And Beyond boosts his way back behind his lines. Though Max Pax is able to refill his army as well. I... Neither of them willing to take this head-on engagement. At least not, not intentionally. So far, Beyond looks like he's making big moves. But Max Pax maintains an army that could just win a fight. Fires a shot, Beyond backs off. The nine Liberators now, and there's no fleet beacon in sight. They're, they're... I think the anti-air, like the direct anti-air, is one phoenix. You, at some point, you have to deal with the Liberators more directly. There are too many. He's got 11 Liberators. I don't even think there's Storm. There is no Storm! Like, Magpax is on the clock now. He has to deal with these. Oh my god! Just unload. He's gonna go straight up the center. Trying to find an angle. Oh, uh, it's not working! It ain't working! Trying to fit a square, well, a disruptor-sized peg in a non-existent hole here. The stalkers blinker. No, come on. Okay, Beyond, come back here. Um, there's not enough ants here. What is going on? It's a disaster. Max Pax. Another disruptor targeted. There's no other splash damage besides the Colossi. Feels like Max Pax is just losing most of his army in these fights. Looking for good swipes with the Colossi, but overall... Max Pax forced to run. Where did that disruptor come from? From stage left. I don't know what happened. DT's over here. 18 SCVs went down during this. So beyond losing a lot more of his economy, but dropping on top of the Colossi. Still getting a lot of damage. The probes just maybe not the time to transfer. Disruptor's wandering in. One shot, one opportunity. And forces the pickup. Picks off one medevac out of it. The other one badly bruised. There's not that many units out of Beyond. What is the economy? Max Pack's still way ahead because he still has two mining bases despite losing some of these probes. Beyond, EMP lands on the Zealots, but his medevacs are out of energy out of the way. Max Pax is holding, but only because of his economy. Where it, he's lost. He's not dealing with the Liberators. He, the the real problem here, well, he actually ended up killing most of them. Beyond got a little sloppy. <laughs> it, I guess it's working. It, I I think. 
it, it still is true that Beyond has the better army. It's just Max Pax is able to live for long enough here. Yeah, well, the Phoenix is there, so. One disruptor hit could, of course, change that, but a bio army disruptors at the front fires two shots. Double whiff. Another liberator just looking for anything to keep Max Pax busy would be good. Disruptor shot. Miss the mark. More danger balls. Sensor tower. Another sensor tower added on. That's a lot of zealots. Of course, disruptors are pretty dangerous to zealots as well. Fires are shot beyond. Eats one, but the rest flanking around from the left side. One more disruptor. Looking for it. Finds a chunk. Is there enough left over to deal with these zealots right now? The metamax are out of energy. Snipe being used. Another raptor shot beyond. It clips him, but not enough. And Beyond chases down a DT, scans again. 14 probes down to, I, I think, the Liberator on the left side. DT's into the natural. What are you even going to attack at this stage? Fighting the army heads up. Metavax out of energy. Units half HP, but it's just gateway units to fight them. The Phoenix pulled in. Maybe a select all army. Maybe just trying to pull everything together. Still a Liberator protecting this base. The DT's blinking in. Picks up a ghost. Stalkers knock it down. Where did that Reaper come from? Everything. One step out of rehab or death. As the stims continue. And Max Pax is not able to lay down the finishing blow. But beyond. I don't know how long he can keep this up. He's about 10 minutes into being one fight away from losing. Max Pax continues hammering, but not able to crack the defenses. More zealots down. Disruptor shot. Easily dodged. SCV is ambitious at the front. That was the only Ruptor. He can fight this. Uh, picks up. I think that was a bit of an accident, but shaving off the zealots. It's 3-3 versus 3-3. Upgrades are even. Disruptor recharging. DT on the right flank. 14 SCVs down. Beyond's economy slowly but surely being whittled down by the Dark Templar. Max Pax is holding for now. He has like three bases mining. Those six probes go down to a Liberator. The workers are definitely not safe in this fight. <laughs> Max Pax. It feels like he has the opportunity to just sit back and build up, but Beyond keeps outmaneuvering him whenever he tries that. The Metavax. There's enough Ruptors to really zone out Beyond. He target fires one. He looks for the second. He gets both! A dangerous game, but he had to play it. Another Ruptor at the back line. Looking for the shot. He fires it. Beyond backs off. Doesn't really hit much. SCV's pulled. Another Liberator on the left flank. But there's no more splash damage. The EMPs were enough. The target fire. The high risk and the incredibly high reward. 12 more SCVs went down, though. And Beyond plummets to 25. And he taps it out without even a game-deciding fight. Oh, uh, Beyond fought to the last, but at this point he realizes that he can keep winning battles, but the war is not going into his favor. <sighs> Actually, a way more cost-effective game. It's just left with... He has... He has... What? These mineral patches. I think what happened as well is he just dropped 10 mules. This is his main command center. He just dropped all the mules and there was a DT in his natural. And that was the, the straw on this particularly powerful camel's back. <laughs> what a game. Oh, beyond. An incredible but also inevitable match. I really thought the Liberators would turn the tides, but what do you think? As I said, even when he loses, Beyond, one of the most exciting players to watch. Thank you to especially Dave Testa, by the way, uh, your favorite. Um, well, actually, check out the Dave. Uh, is it the Chicken Man Open? I don't know. It's some weird. Look for a tournament with a weird name, I think, on Sundays outside of the ESL Cup uh, as well. But thank you for sending me this highlight. And I did enjoy it. I hope you did as well. Mike. Subscribe, ring the bell, complain about Protoss or Liberators or anything in between. Uh, good luck, have fun. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.